Hello students my name is Mahima Bantia and I am here to help you prepare your strategy for your upcoming exam of IIT Jam Now let us look at some fundamental questions before I discuss with you the actual exam strategy So the first question that you that comes to mind whenever one thinks about the IITs is that which exam are we supposed to give are we supposed to give the jam or are we supposed to give the gate or are we supposed to give both so that is the first question and i would like to clarify and put it on record that for masters in economic entrances the only paper that we have to look at is the iit jam we do not have to look at the gate exam at all because last year there were not admissions to the iits based on your gate score the admissions was only based on your jam exam result so the first and first foremost thing is to remember that iit jam is the exam that we have to concentrate on we do not have to give the gate score unless you want uh, a job in one of the psus or you want to give your gate score for admission somewhere but not in the iits they do not accept the gate score you have to do go through only jam okay so that's the first question that i needed to address the second question is about the paper pattern that so let's look at the paper pattern now of course all of you should know this by now that there are three sections to the iit jam paper the first section is the mcq which is multiple choice questions now this is by far the largest section in the paper you have 10 questions for one mark and 20 questions for two marks so this is 50% of the paper right now the drawback is there is one third negative marking okay so of course if it if this paper is this section is going to give us 50% of the marks that means a average sort of an allocation should be 50% time right so if we have if it's a 3 hour paper then of course your 15 minutes half an hour will be set aside for paper analysis and revision to make sure you haven't marked any wrong answer to make sure that you didn't think to mark a but you accidentally marked b so that revision needs to be there so we need to take away half an hour for that so actual solving time with us is only 2 and a half hours and out of those 2 and a half hours that means about 1 hour 15 minutes we can allocate to this section right that is our average on an average a ballpark figure that that is the amount of time we should allocate to the mcq part of the paper remembering that this part has negative marking okay because what happens is if you allocate more than this time you have the msq and the nat sections to look at right now last year a lot of students told us that they did not do proper time management they could not get to the nat part now the advantage of the msq and the nat part is no negative marking you do not have any to, any negative marking so you can mark all the answers you you can attempt all the 10 questions here and all the 20 questions here right without worrying about negative marking so all of these questions have to be attempted correct so in nat of course you have to calculate and write the right answer in msq you have to select all the right answers right so multiple select questions mark all those which are right could be more than one also and nat is where you you have to manually enter a numerical number right so these two sections are very different uh, from the other exams these are peculiar only to the iits um so we'll talk about more about them but they do not have negative marking and mcq section has negative marking so that's the first difference between all the three sections okay so now after having discussed the kind of questions that come uh let us go to the paper itself 
Now, um, so the JAM paper, of course, has questions from microeconomics. It has questions from macroeconomics. It has questions from maths. It has questions from stats. And it has questions from Indian economy. Right? Now, mostly Indian economy will come in MCQ and MSQ. Very few questions of Indian economy will come for NAT. Okay, so MCQ and MSQ will have more questions of Indian economy. So for people who do who have not done Indian economy well or are not confident about their Indian economy, you have to remember that you can do the NAT questions first, okay, because you don't have any Indian economy there. Okay, so that could be one strategy. Now, um, in terms of the level of questions and how do you prepare for these subjects? Now, in my analysis of the micro and the macro paper, what I have realized is that expect good level questions, but not undoable sort of questions. Okay, so these are not questions which are not doable. For not doable means they are, if you know them, you know them, you can't solve them. This is not what happens in IIT. These are questions which you can apply and solve. So of course, expect application-based questions. Okay, you will get application-based questions. So which, which other papers are similar? to the questions that we get for micro and macro in the IITs. You could look at JNU, ISI, DSE, all the three, okay? You could avoid those questions of ISI, DSE, which are extremely hard, okay? So you can avoid the extremely hard ones, okay? So look at simple to medium, simple, to medium level questions for micro and macro from JNU, ISI, and DSE. That will be good practice for IIT with as regards to economics, okay? Now let's come to maths. Of course, since it is IIT, maths is not the easiest, okay? So maths, you have to practice the good level questions of ISI and DSE because maths and stats is where the real test of IIT comes in, okay? So you have to do the good level questions of ISI and DSE also to be able to crack the maths portion, all right? And the last is Indian economy. Indian economy, of course, is um, a lot of MSQ and MCQ, as I said. And expect about out of fifth, out of um, 60 questions in the whole paper, expect about 10 questions on Indian economy. Okay, so that's the percentage. Out of 60 questions in the whole paper, I would say expect about 10 questions on Indian economy. All right, so this is about the analysis and hardness of the paper. Now let's come to the next part where how do you manage your time? So how do you do time management for the whole paper? How do you make sure that you do the whole paper? So how do you make sure that you do not miss out on which question, which are the type of questions that you don't want to miss out on? Do you want to miss out on the easy questions? Do you want to miss out on not doing the easy questions in a major exam? Right? You don't want to do that, right? So that means what you have to do, you have to sectionally divide the paper. What do I mean by sectionally divide? You have to divide them by the EDM rule. What is the EDM rule? Easier, easy, medium, difficult, right? So how do you do that? To apply the EMD rule, you have to firstly spend 15 minutes analyzing the paper. 
So if you spend 15 minutes analyzing the paper, what will happen is you will be able to mark each question. And what will be the mark? Either easy or medium or difficult, right? Each question you can mark. Also, that could also depend on your comfort with the subject. So if suppose consumer behavior is very easy for you, markets are very easy for you, or some other topic, growth economics is very easy for you, you will be actually able to see how many questions have come from those topics. You will be able to see does how many questions of NAT that you can attempt. You will have the entire paper set in your head and you can see all the easy questions and the medium questions and the difficult questions. Okay, in the end, maybe the difficult ones weren't difficult or the easy ones weren't easy. That's okay. You can never make a perfect judgment and don't worry about it. What you need to do is do an initial analysis, spend 15 minutes in reading the whole paper, mark easy, medium, difficult, mark the whole paper. And then when you start to write the answers, you will only do the easy questions first because you don't want to miss out on the easy questions. So do the easy questions first. Okay, you do the easy questions first. You do the medium questions second and you do the difficult questions third. So even if you miss out, even in the end, you don't, you didn't have enough time. What did you miss out? Those questions that you had less likelihood of doing. You did not miss out on those questions that you could have done. Okay, so this is the most important exam strategy that I can share with you. And all the other people who have successfully cracked this entrance can share with you that you have to choose the questions that you want to answer. You will never be able to do the whole paper. You will never be able to attempt the whole paper. Okay. So you must, must, must do this. Now, after you've done analyzing, you will start with the easy ones. You will mark all the easy ones, then the medium and then the difficult. And then the last 15 minutes, you will do revision because every human being is going to make a mistake. Every human being is going to mark a wrong answer. And we do not want to do that in our exam. Last 15 minutes will be for revision. You will recheck all your answers to make sure you have marked the answer that you want to mark. Okay. Then the last tip that I would like to give you, and that is to breathe during the exam. I'll tell you why. Now, how many of you have seen that as soon as you come out of the exam, you come to know, oh no, I did that question wrong. Oh shit, this I knew and I didn't do it. Are iska to ye tha. Jaise hi you came out of the exam. Why does that happen? because your mind starts to relax once the exam is, exam is over. So you have to relax in between the exam if you want your mind to relax and give you the answers that you have already prepared for. All this time, all this months that you have been preparing, the answers will come to you. You will know what to do if you relax. So in between the exam, if it gets overwhelming, if it gets too much, or if it's a question that you need to think about, just lower down your head, breathe, close your eyes and relax. Take a few deep breaths. The answer will come to you. You will know what's the trick in this question. You will know what's the catch in this question if you let your mind relax. Okay, so stay calm in the paper. Do not get hyper. Don't worry if you're not able to complete the paper because you only missed out on the difficult questions. Of course, do not get stuck on a question. If you are stuck on any question, please remember that this one question is not going to get into you into IIT. Even if it was the toughest question of the paper and you solved it, but you will not get into IIT if you missed five other questions because of that. Do not get stuck on a paper. Do not get stuck on a question. Move on. Complete your paper and give it your best shot. All right. So thank you for watching. These were my tips for IIT. If you have any questions, please do let us know. We'll be happy to answer them. 
See you bye bye and all the very very best.